Hi, this video is looking at the alveoli. There is more content, quizzes and past papers on the website which is www.elevise.co.uk. The alveoli are responsible for gas exchange. They are where oxygen is taken into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide is taken out of the bloodstream. Oxygen enters the bloodstream from the alveoli and carbon dioxide moves from the bloodstream into the alveoli. As the alveoli are responsible for gas exchange, the composition of air that we inhale and exhale are different. From the table, we can see that the concentration of oxygen is greater in air that is breathed in compared to air that is breathed out. This is because oxygen is taken into the bloodstream in the alveoli. Also, we see that the concentration of carbon dioxide is higher in the air that we breathe out compared to the air that we breathe in. This is because our cells are undertaking respiration reactions and a byproduct of these respiration reactions is carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is taken from the cells that respire into the lungs via the bloodstream. The carbon dioxide is then exhaled. Exhaled air tends to be warmer than the air that we breathe in. It also contains a lot more water vapour. The amount of water vapour in the atmosphere depends on weather conditions. If it is humid, there is large quantities of water vapour in the air. When it is not humid, there is small quantities of water vapour in the air. This is why water vapour is not included in the table. So let's have a look at the alveoli in more detail. The alveoli are in the lungs and they are at the end of the bronchioles. Air travels down the trachea, down one of the bronchi, either the left or right bronchi, through the bronchioles and into the alveoli. There are hundreds of million alveoli in the human lungs. Here is a 2D diagram of what the alveoli look like. Blood travels through the capillaries very close to the alveoli. There is only a two cell gap between the alveoli and the capillary. The two cells are the cells that make up the wall of the alveoli and the cells that make up the wall of the capillary. Both of these cells allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to pass through them. The lungs are part of the pulmonary circulatory system. This system is where blood is pumped from the heart, through the lungs and back to the heart. The blood in the capillary at the start of the alveoli is deoxygenated. This is because the blood has travelled around from the body where it supplies cells with the oxygen that it requires for respiration. Furthermore, the deoxygenated blood contains a large amount of carbon dioxide. It has gained this carbon dioxide from cells that respire it. Remember that carbon dioxide is a waste product of respiration. This means that there is a higher concentration of oxygen in the alveoli compared to the concentration of oxygen in the capillary. This results in oxygen diffusing from the alveoli into the capillary. There is a higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the capillaries compared with the alveoli. This leads to carbon dioxide diffusing from the capillaries to the alveoli. So oxygen diffuses out of the alveoli into the capillaries and carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveoli from the capillaries. This results in blood in the capillaries at the end of the alveoli being oxygenated. The oxygenated blood will then travel back to the heart where it is pumped out on the second circulatory system which is the systemic system. We have millions of alveoli because we need a very high surface area to volume ratio so that diffusion can occur in sufficient quantities to allow us to survive. The total surface area of the alveoli is around 60 meters squared. Furthermore, the alveoli are designed so they have a very large surface area. Here is a 3D diagram of what the alveoli look like. This brings us to the end of this video. For more content, quizzes and past papers, go onto the website which is www.elevise.co.uk.